Altin's project is about predicting lung function decline due to pulmonary fibrosis. Pulmonary fibrosis is an incurable lung disease. The outcome of pulmonary fibrosis can range from long-term stability to rapid deterioration, but it is difficult for clinicians to predict the outcome for each patient. This makes it difficult to organize treatment and may even result in extreme anxiety in some patients. To train our predictive model, we use CT scans. The CT scan on the right shows the lungs of a pulmonary fibrosis patient. It contains a pattern that resembles a honeycomb. Clinical studies show that the honeycombing pattern is the most influential risk factor for lung function decline. We extracted this honeycombing feature from CT scans to train our predictive models. We aim to use machine learning to predict the rate of lung function decline for each patient. Given a CT scan of the lung, an initial reading of lung function, and some demographical data, our results, if successful, will enable clinicians to better predict the progression of cystic fibrosis given only the patient's demographics, an initial CT scan, and consequent checkups, hence reducing the cost for repeated scans while improving the accuracy and efficiency of predictions. As you can see from our training data, we have two problems. We do not have rate of decline percentage lung function for each patient, and CT scan images is not a feature that is friendly with our traditional machine learning methods. This means that we will need to do some pre-processing using computer vision. So problem one, we estimated the rate of FVC decline by building a linear model using FVC values for 8 to 11 weeks for each patient and estimated the slope of the values. Here is example output for two patients. Compared to the patient on the left with healthier lungs and more honeycombing, the patient on the right has poorer lungs with less honeycombing and the estimated slope for this patient is much steeper. To solve problem 2, our aim is to use computer vision methods to transform the DICOM stack of each patient into a real number, representing degree of honeycombing. First, we will segment these images to obtain only the lung region. Then, we will perform edge detection on these lung segments to isolate the honeycombing texture. Finally, the estimate is calculated by averaging the pixel intensities in the lung region of edge images. The higher the degree of honeycombing, the more edges we detect which corresponds to a bigger numerical value. Using the two solutions described, we now have all the training data needed to train a predictions model. At this point, we decided to explore three different machine learning approaches, K-nearest neighbors, support vector machine, and neural network. K and N model produce the best results with the lowest mean squared validation loss, despite being much simpler compared to more complex models like NLP or CNN. To conclude, with more research and a larger data set, the model could be further fine-tuned to provide promising solutions to the problem of progressions predictions of lung diseases like pulmonary fibrosis.